Hi, I'm Malcolm. And I'm Rachel. We're two Canadians living on our 39-foot main ship trawler, living an adventure of a lifetime. We invite you to follow along as we travel 6,000 miles through Canadian and U.S. waterways around America's Great Loop. Just leaving Bear Drop Harbor. Had a really nice couple of nights here. We explored by dinghy. We picked blueberries. We swam. Did some fishing. Weathered some rain and whatnot. Had winds in all directions, but it was very well protected in here. And so we really enjoyed our time in Bear Drop Harbor. Now we're headed to Long Point Cove for just a little while, a few hours today. And then we're gonna head over to a port for the first time in over a week to tie up to a dock. Tomorrow we're expecting 25 to 30 millimeters of rain and uh, some winds along with that. So we're going to tie up at Blind River and explore that little town, reprovision a little bit, and just maybe go for some nice long walks. It'll be nice to get out and stretch the legs a bit more than we have been the last little while. Hope you're having a great day. Lots of great scenery on the North Channel. We're really loving that it's so sunny. The water is sparkling. It's beautiful.
at Long Point Cove and stopped here just for a couple of hours on our way to Blind River. And we had a really fun time in the dinghy exploring. There's some really neat rock formations where you can only fit a dinghy through there. And a couple of boats are here. We're just preparing actually now to leave to Blind River. Had a shower after putting on our solar to heat the hot water. Could have had a swim, but it's a little cold. So we thought we'd be civilized and have a warm shower. So that was kind of nice. So we're just getting ready to go and we'll have a look and see what Blind River has to offer. Hope you're having a great day. We just docked at the Blind River Marina and we're walking into town to get a few groceries and check out the place. Look at the view this house has. So nice, and look at the garden. Very pretty, gorgeous. Blind River is a town of 3,500 located on the north shore of the north channel of Lake Huron. It is named after the nearby Blind River. It is well known for its logging history and hosts outdoor enthusiasts with access to endless trails and vast wilderness at its doorstep, as well as arts and cultural festivals. Lots of churches here.
Oh, there you go. You have to put it on backwards. It's actually not bad. It's not too bad. A little bit dirty. Not as bad as it could be, I guess. You're probably changing it pretty frequently. I, I changed it. This is the first time I've changed it this year. But we've only been out, what, six, seven weeks? 100 hours. 100 hours, okay. You're supposed to change it every 100 hours? I'm changing it every 100 hours. What are you supposed to do? Some say 100 hours, some say 150, some say 75. Depends on the state of your fuel. But it would look as though the state of our fuel is not bad. So the, where we filled up had clean fuel or our fuel tank itself. Yeah, our fuel tank not itself too isn't too Well, bad. that's lucky for us. This is also a 30 micron, which means it's a little f fatter. So it's not catching really fine particles, you mean? Right. So I'm going to be putting one that's a little finer. The Timber Village Museum, located right at the marina, has some unique displays to teach visitors about Blind River and its history. The adjacent art gallery showcases local artists in various media and even has a seed library. White pine lumbering activities began in Blind River in the mid-1800s. Each spring, docks were lined with ships loading lumber. In the 1930s, Blind River Mill was the largest white pine mill in the world. Over the years, eight different companies owned and operated the mill until it closed in 1969 due to devastating forest fires. Still logs up there, holy cow. Those are big pine logs. So I guess what they did, they brought them and they dumped them on there and that's a conveyor that just took them in. A prominent landmark on the Blind River waterfront is the old sawdust burner used to burn waste when milling. 